and we right. do completely different things. Right, exactly. And I think that there's a space for everyone. If that's your niche and that's what you're so good at and that's what you love, commit to that. Commit to being editorial, commit to being bridal, whatever your niche is. But, or niche, I always say, I don't know if I'm using we say, we're, we're from New York, we say both. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I really look for, you know, just like really well blended, um, clean lines. I don't want to see lashes falling off. Um, big, hard no, no is like over editing. Um, if you guys watched the class already, I've spoke about editing your work in person because especially with bridal, the bridal photographers are not editing your work. They are posting it probably in really shitty downlight. Um, sorry that I curse. Um, but yeah, probably in really crappy downlight. So you need to really fix your work before they're out of your chair. There is no editing your work after because then they're going to get all their pictures back from their photographer. And it's going to look like nothing like what they're posting, like the artist is posting on their page. So if I see like crazy over editing, um, listen, everyone does a little bit of editing to fix certain things but there's no reason for you to change a client's face shape, to change their body, to make them feel like self-conscious about like what, who they actually are. Um, it is going to be so insane. Um, brides need makeup artists. Um, but my biggest piece of advice is never try to copy someone exactly, because if someone wants that person, they're just going to go book that person. Um, so important to have your own identity. It's so important to have your own style because then people come to you for that. People know what your signature look is. They know like what they're going to get with you. Um, and again, don't over edit. Um, very important not to over edit because then when people do come for their trials and then they look at themselves in the mirror and they don't look like what your Instagram looks like, they're not going to book you for your their wedding day. Um, and you're going to get really bad reviews. Um, there, There's artists out there that do this and they don't, they might be building their Instagram, but their clients go on those bridal pages and tell and post what they actually look like. And it's actually making them lose business. So it's very important to minimal editing when you're posting your bridal work. Um, again, if you're in editorial and it's a photo shoot and it's going to be edited and whatever, that's fine. That's what it is. Um, and I love that, but um, it's just so important to show your work, show what you do so that people, maybe it's even better in person, you know, and they're more excited after their trial rather than disappointed after their trial. Um, again, just being yourself, really picking styles, pick your five top artists and what brow do you like the best? Who does lips like you love? Whose contour technique works for you? And like you were saying, products um everyone has different hands so someone's favorite eyeliner might be you might hate that eyeliner someone's favorite foundation might you might hate that foundation it's because of the way that we apply it in our our um our hands and our eye um so it's very important just to try things out for yourselves and just really experiment 